Hey guys, it's Fluffy Monkey 280 and today I'm going to show you how to make um, a cookie for your American Girl doll. This is a sugar cookie here. It says cookies there. I don't think you can see it, but yeah. Um, um, sorry for the really bad lighting. Um, so yeah, it says cookies and it's, yeah. This one's a sugar cookie, but today doesn't make any difference. I'm just going to do a chocolate chip. So what you need is tape. If, it, if you're going to use tape, it should be double-sided and you might need um, regular tape too. You're going to need regular tape too. And double-sided tape or glue. You can use glue instead of double-sided tape, but I would really suggest double-sided tape. Okay, that took a long time. Um, next, you're going to need uh, what, um, scissors, um, uh, collar printer and computer, um, a little twisty thingy, and then I get, I bet you guys are all wondering what it's wrapped in, um, it's wrapped in this cling wrap stuff, you could also use, um, like, clear cellophane wrapping, but I just use this stuff. Um, so what you need to do is, you need to, um, go to Google Images and just print off the cookie you want, size it down, and then print off a nutrition label, size it down, um, if you go to Microsoft Word and do it, or if it's already the right size, fine, um, then you can take the cookie label and size it down. And this, the cookie label, here, um, this should be smaller than the cookie. And this should be um, smaller than the cookie, too. And then something that you want to use for the back. Search, like, tan or something, because you're going to want to use that for the back of your cookie. So it looks more realistic instead of just cardboard. Oh, and you're going to need cardboard, too. So... Make sure this is bigger than the backing stuff is bigger than the um, uh, cookie. So yeah, cardboard too. Then, well, it doesn't need to be. Okay, so you're gonna just go ahead and print that out. I've done that, and what I did is I've taken my cardboard. Um, it took a long time to do, so I just not a long time, but it would have taken up a lot of my video stuff. Um, not a lot, but, yeah. Um, so I just didn't want to do it on camera. Um, but, yeah, I just took this, took my double-sided tape, and just taped it on the cardboard on, and then I cut it out onto the cookie. And then what you're going to want to do is, wait, let me put the camera down. Um, What you're going to want to do is just take your um, backing and flip it over to the white side um, and just take your um, glue slash tape, it'd be so much better if you use tape, and just, um, it'd be a lot easier at least, but you don't need to, don't worry, it'll be fine without it. It's just easier without glue. Um, take it and you just want to kind of <coughs> um, tape it on. With glue you would want to cut the circle out first and then glue it on. You know. So with double sided tape I do it this way though. So you just do that. And then we're just going to cut around it. So I just double sided use double sided tape here and just whoa sorry there's fireworks there's fireworks on so that was the big huge noise so just don't be alarmed just fireworks Okay, 
finally got that cut out. So now when you whoa. So now when you turn it over, like when you look on the back, you see tan. It looks really kind of weird in the light because my skin looks weird and yeah. So it's what you should have. And now what you're gonna wanna do is um um you yeah. wait, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I just need to get a twisty. Um, little twisty thing. Make sure it's bendable. Um, so yeah. Little twisty. Um, you want to take, let's go over here. Take your cling wrap and just cut a little, uh, not really a little, but, um, cut a piece out. And then, what you're gonna do with this piece? Yeah. Um, what you're gonna do with it is just wanna kind of take it and put it there in the middle and just kind of wrap it over. And since this cling wrap is sticky, it's harder to use, but it's better. It's not really harder, but yeah, just a thing. Then, I wanna take your scissors and um, just kinda, well first, if you're using the cling wrap, kind of just seal it up, just to make it easier. Um, so I just tried to seal it kind of quick. Doesn't really matter though. Um, and you want to leave space at the top. Um, make sure to leave space at the top. And you want to take your regular tape and just take a piece. Sorry, I'm just getting to some tape. Take it and hold on. Um. You kind of just, whoa, take the back. Okay, that one didn't. So, just, you know, get your cling wrap on. Um, so get your cling wrap on. Mine didn't turn out so well. So, um, um, that's why you don't see it on this. And then what you would want to do with your double-sided tape, well, first you would um, close it with this thing, little twisty, or you could use ribbon or whatever you want, whatever works, and take your double-sided tape or glue and um, just glue it on. If there was cling wrap on this, you would you don't glue it onto the cookie. Don't, don't, don't. Glue it onto the cling wrap, to the wrap stuff, once it's on the cookie. So once it uh, once it's on the cookie, um, glue it on, and um, and then flip it over, and you just want to do um, this one too. Glue the nutrition label, glue or tape the nutrition label <coughs> on the back. Sorry, I'm um, I have a cold, so I'm losing my voice. Um, and tie it before you do all that. And yeah. 
Then you should end up with this. It doesn't need to be chocolate chip, just any kind. Um, and yeah. So just, you'll end up with this. and Yep. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.